Hello. One aspect of uh, CBT, of cognitive behavior therapy, uh, is to challenge uh, the thoughts. Okay, to prove they are wrong or to change them. So you challenge them. When you challenge them, in fact, you you enter uh, fully in the content of them. And in the whole process, you should uh, focus on them. You should focus on the content of the thoughts and the content of the feelings and the sensation. Okay, but especially the thoughts. And then you challenge them. In the whole process, you are using your concentration or focus. You are thinking about that. But you should never, never forget an OCD. If you, the more focus you give, the more energy you give these thoughts and feelings. So, this is uh, NCBT. If you take ACT, the acceptance commitment therapy, then the other way is that you will not change them. So you will not change the thoughts, the emotion, the sensation directly. You will not challenge them. You will not touch them. You will not try to change them or do anything with them. No, you change your relationship with them. So in ACT, instead of that you challenge or you change the thoughts the thoughts no you you are here the thoughts here you don't change the thoughts so that you change the feelings and the later the compulsion so the behavior you stop the compulsion no in act you are changing the relationship between you and thought but this is uh, ocd also uh, act also used a lot with the chronic illnesses because uh, when there are there are uh, chronic diseases you cannot do anything to them so what should you do with the pain okay you change your relationship with these uh, diseases and uh, and uh, you change rela your relationship with the pain and with the disease so if you cannot change thing your neighbor or your spouse or your son or your disease or your ocd or your uh, or your thoughts or your then change your relationship to that uh, uh, I will give you now an exercise about uh, uh, learning that the sensation and the emotion and the thoughts will eventually pass okay at the end it will pass it will not stay okay so if you sit to meditate uh, lotus posture or uh, hero posture or any posture you you choose sometimes even you can choose a uncomfortable posture for this spe specifically for this exercise uh, so you sit in this posture long enough so that you feel uh, itch in your leg or pain in your leg and try to notice this itch or pain including what it feels and what is uh, what it is like uh, but do not give any special uh, uh, significance or attention or do not try to change uh, or to comment about this feeling or about this pain. Try not to scratch uh, the, if it is an itch or try to not to change your position to avoid or to stop this pain. No, try simply to be alone, to be uh, alone without uh, judging without changing without any uh, giving any significance or any reaction to this itching or pain stay with it for uh, two or three minutes okay and then the exercise uh, uh, can be ended um, you, um, uh, what, what we want you to do what I want you to do is that you should do the same thing with the thoughts, sensations, and the emotion, the obsession, the OCD obsessions. The same thing. Try to only to notice them or simply 
try to be with them but do not change them do not argue with them do not give any significance or any over any doing to them any any reaction to them okay if you do that then in fact you are uh, doing mindfulness you stop any reaction this reaction if you stop this reaction then eventually the uh, compulsion will disappear or will, will stop okay so uh, uh, maybe you have noticed many time when you uh, stop focusing on pain or on specific thoughts or feelings then uh, this specific thought or feeling will disappear maybe you have noticed that the same thing is with the anxiety or the uh, thought uh, or the OCD thoughts or the OCD sensation if you wait long enough then it will eventually subsides decrease and habituation will uh, will uh, will happen you will habituate on the anxiety on uh, and on the uh, on the stress on the pa on the pain but even if uh, you don't habituate on that then eventually you will learn that you should change your relationship to this pain so your brain will learn that if something if such uh, an anxiety happen you don't have to freak out to be anxious to be to do the compulsion okay so it is uh, very important uh, even with the f uh, f 15 minutes rule that uh, we always uh, use uh, you can uh, begin with one minute so you from the beginning of the OCD urge OCD the, the obsession uh, or urge uh, I mean uh, OCD sensation or CD feeling OCD thoughts from the beginning of, of that to the uh, doing of the compulsion try to wait one minute next time two minutes next time three minutes uh, and four minutes six minutes a quarter hour an hour the longer you make this uh, t uh, distance in time the weaker will be the connection between the trigger and the compulsion remembering such uh, such or doing uh, such uh, exercise uh, sitting w uh, and then you feel itch in your uh, in your uh, legs or uh, pain sitting enough until you feel that pain and you don't react to this pain staying staying with the pain as long as as possible uh, only if you have uh, some problem in your knees or i should uh, warn you about that no I, I you should not if you have a disease or a roma or something uh, or okay you should not do that uh, you should do another posture which doesn't affect uh, also in a situation of pain and you or uncomfortable uh, position and you stay with the pain don't change it don't change your position stay with the pain don't react this is the therapy this is the exercise that will help you a lot in the OCD uh, therapy okay so stay with the pain do not do anything try very hard not to do anything okay and see what is that stop your reaction stop your reaction to this pain don't do any reaction your your brain will eventually learn how to habituate he will learn uh, what he he should do in the presence of OCD obsessions a similar exercise 
another exercise that you can also do is simply try to remember uh, a problem that happened uh, weeks ago, sometimes ago. Think back uh, on this event. Okay, and how uh, this event have uh, has caused a very strong reaction or a very strong pain in you, um, strong discomfort, strong pain. Uh, and how did you react to that? Okay. Of course, do not react now, but simply try to remember that pain that happened uh, in the past, three weeks ago, two weeks ago. And at the same time, try to remember what happened later, after many, uh, after many days or uh, after some days, after some weeks. What happened? Did the pain, did the emotion stay on the same level or it has decreased? Of course, it has decreased. It's, it, ha it, it has decreased maybe a lot or disappeared even. The same thing will happen with your uh, emotion now. So you get now an OCD obsession, a sensation or a feeling. Uh, so you get a trigger and then an anxiety is generated, fear and anxiety is generated. I tell, I tell you, like in the sitting posture, stay with this, with this anxiety, stay with this pain, do not do, do not react, do not do anything until it will eventually subside or go away or disappear or decrease. Okay? If you do the compulsion, then you will teach your brain, you will learn your brain, your brain that send these signals again and you will teach him to learn you will teach him to feel and to learn that these signals these emotions and thoughts will not subside okay so you, you, you will teach him uh, precisely the opposite of this exercise you will teach him that you will teach your brain that I am reacting now I'm doing the compulsion now because I cannot stand I cannot habituate to the pain I cannot habituate to the anxiety your brain will learn that so he will send these signals to you more often and he will decrease and he will decrease your patience to wait until you are doing the the compulsion. He will decrease this period in time between the urge and the compulsion. So it, it will become to the brain very obvious that and very clear that when there is an urge, OCD urge, then compulsion, then this will imply a compulsion. The tight, the connection is very, very, very strong. He will make it, the brain will make it very strong. The connection between the urge, the OCD obsessions, and the compulsion. But the more you wait before you are doing the compulsion, the more you, the brain will say, ah, I will send him again this message and uh, sit back, watch his behavior, watch what he will do. If you don't react to these signals, to these uh, deceptive brain signals or false brain signals, emotions, thoughts, if you don't react to them, then you will send message to the brain, you send it or not, I will not react. Why? It is not important. The brain will is not talking English language or Arabic or Dutch or another language. It, it understands and talks the language of behavior. What is your reaction? What was your reaction or, or what will be your reaction will determine 
the context, the meaning that the, that the brain will understand from these obsessions. He will keep, if you react to the, to the obsessions by doing the compulsion, then the brain will send, okay, these brain, uh, these brain, uh, these messages was, uh, were very helpful. So send, send it, send them to him again. And he will keep sending you these messages and you will keep doing the compulsion. Okay, so try to postpone the compulsion as much as you can. One minute, two minutes, then three minutes, then four minutes next time, and like that. Okay, because eventually it will subside, it will go away. For sure it will decrease, for sure it will decrease. Okay, but you need patience. You need to wait and don't do the compulsion. Postpone the compulsion. Okay, 